Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are going to be looking at percent discount. In this tutoring session, I'm going to be showing you a shortcut that you may not have seen before and makes percent discounts a little bit less complicated. Let's take a look. First off, I want to look at this question. In this question, we're looking at calculators being 35% off. It's a today only special price, original price of $220. This is obviously a very nice calculator. Anyway, in the, uh, in the first method you can see over there, I'm going to show you how most people are taught to do this. Typically when we're shown a discount price, what we're asked to do is find the 35% of 220 and then subtract that from 220 and that will give you your new amount. So you find the amount you're saving and then subtract that from the original price. In the shortcut version, we subtract the percentages and then calculate the new amount. This is a little bit different, but it will get you the exact same number at the end. Let me show you. Again, same question using both methods, you can see in method one, if I find that 35%, um, 30, I convert 35% into a decimal of means multiplication, so it becomes 0.35 times 220, which gives you 77. We have to remember the price of the calculator is not $77. $77 is how much you are saving. It's 35% of $220. So now we have to take that $220, the original price, and subtract 77 to get our new amount. And that's a step that's often missed when do, using this method. Instead, look at the shortcut method. We're going to subtract percentages. So you know your original price is 100%. That's where you start. So I'm going to take 100% minus the 35% and get 65%. What this means is 65% of the original cost is how much I am paying. That's the amount that I actually have to pay. So I calculate that. What is 65% of 220? I convert my percent into a decimal of means multiply and I get $143. My answer at the end is the same, but for me, the shortcut makes a little bit more sense. I'm calculating first off the percent I need to pay and then the amount I need to pay. Let's look at a couple more examples. If I'm saying a clothing sale, 54% off, today only, and the original price of this clothing is $300, I would first subtract the percent, so I'm going to say, the original percentage is 100 minus 54 gives me 46. That means 46% is how much I am paying. So I calculate what's 46% of the $300. To do that, I convert my percent into a decimal of means multiply, 300 is 300, and I'm going to pay $138 for that clothing piece that's labeled as 300. Let's do one more example just to solidify this. If I'm doing a clothing sale, 75% off. The original price is $15.99. First, I subtract my percentage. 100 minus 75 is equal to 25. That should make sense. If it's 75% off, I'm only paying 25%. These are common percentages. So I'm going to calculate what is 25% of my $15.99. To do that, I convert the percent into a decimal. Of means multiply, and I multiply times 15.99, and I will get $3.99 and 75 hundredths of a cent. In other words, I would probably pay $4. But I wanted to include all the decimals. If you are finishing this and kind of working alongside me, um, I didn't want anyone to be confused by me just writing in $4. But that is the shortcut. 
if you subtract the percentages first and then calculate the new amount, it tends to save a little bit of time because subtracting from 100 is often something we can do using mental math, which will save time overall. I hope that tutoring session was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.